I've been taking NMN, which stands for... And that is nicotinamide mononucleotide. Thank you for pronouncing that properly, Vanita. For over 365 days, along with 17 other ingredients, and in this video, I will be sharing what impact this has had on my cycling, my overall strength, and general health and well-being, including some blood tests I did before and after. However, to get straight into it, the first big thing that I noticed was afternoon energy. I am 43 as we speak, turning 44 in July this year, and one of the big things that I have recognized over the years, say from my mid-30s to now, is a decrease in afternoon energy. I honestly struggle with work at the computer once it hits like two or three o'clock. I start scrolling, I can't be bothered. Even my decline in YouTube content over the years is evidence for you of my productivity decline. However, in February 2024, I started supplementing with this, which includes NMN. And through that process, within a few weeks, I noticed a marked improvement in my afternoon energy. Why would that be the case? Well, NMN is designed to increase your NAD levels. And NAD is very important for energy production. So it kind of makes sense. Now, some of you might be asking, what the bloody hell is NAD? For that, I'm gonna to switch to a conversation I have with internationally recognized integrative medicine expert and author, Vanita Dehia, whose details I'll link to below. Well, NAD stands for nicotinamide adenine dinucleotide, which is in actual fact vitamin B3, is needed for energy production. It's a primary energy currency of the cell. It's needed in ATP production. So we eat fats, carbs, and proteins. Why? We need to produce energy in the form of ATP. So it also repairs the DNA. It's needed for cellular signaling. It's needed for muscle repair and recovery. And it has major antioxidant effects. So I went back to the company that sent me this supplement. They're called AgeMate. And I said, Okay, I am willing to make a sponsored video about this supplement, which let me be very clear with you, that is what this is. You are watching a sponsored video on the proviso that I have some non-anecdotal, factual, data-driven evidence to share with the audience about this supplement and what it's doing to me internally. So in order to meet this provision, which is very important to me because I've been doing this YouTube thing for a number of years now and I've got a few haters out there that will want to bring you down no matter what. In April 2024, I stopped taking this supplement for over four weeks and I let it fully wash out of my system. Then in May 2024, I did a blood test via a USA-based lab called Jafinity. And side note, this is a lot more challenging than you would think to get blood from your finger, but anyone can do this from the comfort of their own home. What I personally found out a few weeks later is that my NAD levels were in the deficient range, which I've since learned is not uncommon for people approaching 40 and beyond, but I was a little bit disappointed because I feel that I eat well, I don't drink that much alcohol, I sleep well, I do exercise, I feel I do all the right things. So it was kind of like getting a D or an F on an exam. So I posed a question to Vanita, like increasing your NAD levels or having good levels of NAD, can you do this naturally or do we have to do it via supplementation? We need to ensure that we're actually taking NAD in the form of food. So here we're talking about vitamin B3. It's found in meat, poultry, fish, eggs, um, nuts, seeds, edamame beans, avocados, etc. Another important thing, in, and you're, you're obviously doing this in, through your cycling, is exercising intermittent fasting could be valuable because that actually generates NAD. Now, if you've done all of those things, you might need your NAD boosters. And these are nicotinamide riboside, which is NR, typically known as NR, or NMN, which seems to be the more potent version of NR. And that is nicotinamide mononucleotide, no, typically known as NMN. So despite the fact I feel like I ticked a lot of those boxes that Vanita just described, if not all of them, my NAD levels are still in the deficient range, which unfortunately for me just correlates with the research. The older you get, the lower the NAD levels typically. 
Now, the day I did the initial blood test, I then went back on age, mate, that afternoon, which includes 500 milligrams of NMN per serve daily, along with some other ingredients I'll get to later on. I then retested my bloods about five months later, albeit via a different Australian-based lab for postal service reasons I won't bore you with. So as a result, we have slightly different scales and metrics, but according to Venita, I've had a 53% increase in my NAD levels, supplementing with the NMN found in AgeMate. So the first thing that I noticed was an increase in strength at the gym. Let's cut to a chat I have with Venita about this. Mm -hmm. I was stuck on eight, eight times three chin-ups. So I could, do, I could do three sets of eight. Um, Good on you. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Now I can do three sets of ten. That so is it's, brilliant. That's fantastic. That's increased by two. Yes. And I would say across the board in the gym, my yes. weight has increased not significantly. I'd probably say somewhere between two to five percent. I've been able to increase the weights without experiencing, you know, like delayed onset muscle fatigue or causing injury. Like yes. I've just, yeah. I've just increased my strength in the gym ever yeah. so slightly. And the chin ups is the big one. So does that? Yeah correlate yeah. with the research? Well, just the fact that you are stimulating proline biosynthesis, the fact that you're improving skeletal muscle function, you're increasing oxygenation into your muscle fibers um, uh, by doing that. Also anti-inflammatory. So you're reducing the inflammation of the fascia. So as a result of that, you, your muscle tissue starts to uh, improve more oxygen and you have more lean muscle mass that builds up. Please note that my body weight did not change during this period, nor did my frequency of going to the gym, nor a change in exercises. I kept everything the same. Number two is improved sleep, which is research-based that being increasing your NAD levels should improve sleep quality. Knowing that sleep improvements were to be forecasted, I invested into wearing an ultra human ring at the start of the process. So I could hopefully share with you some definitive data points on top of the blood test results. However, after digging deep into the ultra human data, it has taught me a lot about my opportunities for sleep improvement, in particular, something called heart rate drop. It's also emphasized that there are a lot of variables when it comes to getting a good night's sleep. So for me, to be able to pinpoint something specific that's happened with my sleep from increasing my NAD levels by 53%, that would just be disingenuous. But what I can say is I feel anecdotally that my sleep has improved by supplementing with NMN. Number three, afternoon snacking, which probably correlates with afternoon energy. However, I used to be a stickler for a late afternoon bag of chips or crisps. I can easily smash a big bag of these avocado chips. However, I have not felt like that nor done that for well over six months. And I feel like this is why. Do you remember I said to you, it actually increases your insulin sensitivity. So NMA is protective against your insulin resistance, right? So at 3 p.m., we need, we go through that, what we call that insulin dips, glucose dips. We need the sugar fix, right? Why? To react to that re reactive hypoglycemia. Number four is improved performance on the bike. Now I need to be very clear here that just like sleep, there are so many variables when it comes to endurance sports. So there's not something really specific I can pinpoint here. However, what I can tell you is I recently trained for Australia's toughest one-day bike race called the Grafton to Inverell. It's a 230-kilometer race with 3,500 meters of climbing. And leading into that event, I did three monster five-hour training rides where my normalized power ranged between... 270 to 290 watts. That is absolutely monstrous for me. Additionally, I was breaking all sorts of personal records during those rides, but perhaps what was most shocking now that I reflect, there wasn't moody, grumpy, angry, snappy camp after these five hour rides late into the afternoon. Now to be fair, I was also fueling very well for those rides. I was also taking other supplements, but it's hard for me to fathom or think that you know, having an increase in my NAD levels by 53%, which is going to enhance mitochondrial health. It's going to increase energy production. It's going to help with inflammation. 
surely that played into the training effect and also the recovery effect that I experienced. And of course, in terms of the race, I had one of the best races of my life, finishing third in my age group and fourth overall. They are the four main things that I have noted. Now, it should be noted that NMN isn't the only ingredient. As I said, it is a supplement designed to help with energy, sleep, recovery, and inflammation. 18 ingredients, one scoop, once a day, and it tastes pretty good. And I agree with that. It tastes pretty good in the powder form. But there's one other ingredient in Age Mate that I feel has had quite a positive effect on me personally. Because like a lot of cyclists out there, I am a coffee fiend. I drink three a day religiously. What I note, and this seems to be getting worse as I get older, coffees two and three, my mid-morning and late-morning coffee, I seem to have this extreme high and extreme crash, like I'm yawning maybe half an hour after I've had the coffee. Now, I know what some of you are going to be saying. Stop drinking so much coffee, you dickhead. However, one of the other ingredients in Age Mate is called L-theanine. L-theanine in combination with caffeine has shown in some research to provide more of a sustained high and better concentration levels versus the dramatic highs and lows you can get with caffeine alone. Now, how I personally take Age Mate is daily in the morning before my first coffee for the day. So all in all, this has been quite an interesting process for me because to be honest with you, my desire to do the blood test, to have some factual information to present to you was driven out of a need to not be criticized for promoting a supplement on the channel. What I've subsequently learned through those blood tests is I actually had some low hanging fruit supplementing with NMN and L-theanine and I'm sure a lot of these other ingredients has been really beneficial for me personally. So I want to thank AgeMate for being quite, I'm not going to say pushy, but they were very proactive initially and confident in hoping that I would try it. I feel like I've had such a good experience with AgeMate. It's something that I will take, assuming I don't go broke for the rest of my life. And I'm hopeful that some of you out there might get some benefits from it too. If you got value from this video, please don't forget to give it a like. Of course, there is a link to AgeMate below if you want to go check them out. And I'll catch you in the next video.